I mean, just see, like one year into music production and DJing, he's having his first gigs on Ibiza in one of the most legendary spots. I mean, look at this place. Into a thousand tiny pieces just for fun. Don't get too close. Hey guys, welcome to the vlog today from a boat. I stayed my first night on a sailing boat, which was really good, fun. You can see the start, it's really quiet. It's moving a little, sometimes it's nice, sometimes not that much. This boat is Andrews, he's a DJ and producer, same as me here on the island, Ibiza, trying his luck to advance as a DJ, which is really interesting but also really challenging. We'll talk a little bit more about that. There's also like a sunset gig coming up tonight. But first, of course, I need to, to take a shower, natural style. So it's time now to leave the boat. Andrew is having a DJ gig later tonight and he's bringing quite, quite a lot of equipment. Like all of this. So you're playing live personally yeah, also? Well, we will see. We track the equipment and we will see okay, how okay. we feel about live. Yes. DJing at Sunset Ashram. It's a famous place, like a famous sunset place. I was there a couple of days ago. It's really beautiful. Let's go, let's go, let's go. But we have to hurry up. We're late. It's like the typical DJ lifestyle. You're always late. Back on land, after a very, very, very long time. I feel seasick on land now. I got so used to the movement that I'm now, I have the feeling I'm moving, but I'm, I'm not. I, I'll be there maybe 20 minutes later, max. So yeah, they're, they're moving because they have to be there. They're already late, but I, I have to take a shower. I didn't touch any normal fresh water in a day. This feels so so good so amazing to be able to shower now it's time to cross the entire island to the west side where the sun will set and that's also where andrew is dj <laughs> made it i can't wait to see andrew djing because this guy if you've seen yesterday's episode he's fascinating he rode the atlantic on like a small boat just himself 94 days day and night and like all by hand getting across which is just insane and just one year ago he thought to himself i love music why not start djing and producing and he's used to doing crazy stuff where everyone tells him he can't do it. And I think for him, as well as for me, it's like, it's it's even more like a driving force of people say you can't. To actually show them and show yourself that you can do it. And I think with that kind of attitude, you can actually pull it off. I mean, just see, like one year into music production and DJing, he's having his first gigs on Ibiza in one of the most legendary spots. I mean, look at this place. And a lot of people always ask me if they're too old, if it's too late to get into music production and DJing. And already the question shows that you might not be in for the right thing. Do it because you love it, because it's fun. Otherwise you will give up very fast. And I think you just, just need to be that person that has this special mindset. He definitely got it. He's, he's doing all this crazy kind of things. And I'm also already in DJ producing, like DJing for 15 years, producing for 10. I also started quite late, like with 20, 21. And yeah, it still kind of worked. I think if you really truly believe in it and just pull through and put all of your effort into it because you believe in it, it will happen eventually. It will be harder than you might think. It will take longer than you might think, but eventually you will get there. and. Once you get to that point where things are starting to happen, it can go pretty, pretty fast. Just for example, Robin Schultz, he was basically doing the same as me and everyone else producing at home. And all of a sudden, two or three songs in, huge hits, he's touring the world. By the way, I will maybe meet him at Ushuaia uh, tomorrow, tomorrow actually. This will be fun, can't wait. But now let's see how Andrew is actually performing.
Thanks, Lord, for your amazing sense. You're now officially a professional DJ. <laughs> it was wonderful, man. Yeah. A lot of people yeah, yeah. here. It's good. And, uh, the setup is wonderful. Perfect. We've been here six hours almost. Yes. Nice. And uh, a great experience. Definitely. People enjoyed. So people enjoyed. We enjoyed. Yes, that's our task as DJs. We are, we are not. We are not DJs. <laughs> Remember, we are entertainers. Yes. We have to make people happy. Exactly. This is our goal. This is our job. To make people happy, you can do it with music, but you can also go there and dance. And if you dance yeah. and make it happy, you're, you're being a good DJ because it, you're dancing. It, it works. The, the, the goal is to make them happy. That's it. Definitely. People around you happy. So yes, so a really successful night. Thanks a lot again to Andrew for letting me stay on his boat, share this experience. Now I have to be careful to not fall into the sea. It's really dark. Stars are out. The moon is out. And I still feel a little tipsy. Didn't drink anything. I have to drive, but like being on that boat made me feel like the moving on the boat is normal. So I should probably go back there to feel good again. And I'm really happy to be able to announce tomorrow at Ushuaia, it's confirmed, meeting Lovra again. Brooks will be there, Robin Schultz and David Guetta. So definitely, definitely tune in tomorrow. It will be a fun one. See you. That's it. Sign up.